Hooray and welcome back to the channel. My name is Cookie and in today's video we're going to be using the fastest killing no recoil STB556 here on Modern Warfare 2. Send him into an early grave. <laughs> I'm hit! Barely skived out of that! HQ is online. Captain, we're capturing the headquarters. Set security. Changing marks. We're losing our headquarters. Uh, headquarters have been lost. Reinforcements inbound. Be ready. HQ, secure the perimeter. Uh. Our headquarters are being captured. Mission is half complete. Secure this victory. Got one down! Enemy in the area, secure the HQ. Effective fire! Advanced UAV is being of fuel. RTB at this time. The Swapping enemy maps. is capturing our way oh. Requesting down. air support! Stand by for next... Fox to Tristan Station, moving to engage. She got deployed! Ammo here! Target spotted. Here. 
threats in the air. Take your door up, you bastard. Yo, welcome back to this beautiful STB556 gameplay here on Modern Warfare 2. If you guys did enjoy that gameplay, man, smash that like button, subscribe, turn that noti bell on, man, just to be a part of that noti crew, hit that like button and comment it first. All right, so starting off, man, we did run that muzzle eco line GSX, which does increase some recourse smoothness, obviously, as well as giving it a sound suppressor. We did tune it on the bullet velocity side by 0.65 and the recourse smoothness side by 0.18. For the barrel, we ran the 24.4 inch Bruin S620, which does increase the most bullet velocity and damage range, as well as increases a bit of record control and hit fire accuracy. As well as tuning it, we did tune it on the damage range side by 0.19 and recourse steadiness side by 0.19 as well. For the underbarrel, we ran the FTAC Ripper 56, further increases some aiming idle stability as well as recoil stabilization. Honestly, if you do want a no recoil weapon, I do recommend to look for aiming idle, aiming idle stability and then increasing it on the tuning side. All right, so we did tune it on 0.19 side and then we did tune it recoil stabilization side by 0.54. You know, if you are using this STB, I do recommend to use the 42 round mag. And then lastly, for the optic, we ran the Cronin Mini Red Dot, which does give you a clear sight picture as well as decreasing a bit of ADS time. And then we did tune it on the far side by negative 0.73 and then ADS side by negative 1.16. And so with that being said, man, this was the beautiful STB556 no recoil max damage class setup. As you guys did see, man, it was beastie. So make sure you guys definitely hit that like button, man. And listen, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.